Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Okay, we have a place image question video request. Okay, and everybody needs to understand that when you send me questions or you need help with files, I will help you with your file, but I do not keep any of your files. That is very important for people to understand. Okay, you also understand that when you have a place image and you come in here and you try to make any changes to it whatsoever other than size, everything turns gray. Okay, that's because it's a place image. You have not put any path to that. Okay, so this is just the background, the backing that it sits on. So you can't come up here. You can't you can't break it apart it, it's not going to do anything it's just a layer of gray okay so how are we going to go about being able to because right now i could uh send this to my printer right now i could print this okay and it would print that out that's all good great and fine but how do i get this file sure i could come in here and I could do a trace. This is one way to do it. Okay. Come in here, do your trace, do your blackout. Let me get it off a single color. I need to flip it to monogram. Do a blackout. Crank this guy all the way up. Okay. Until you see it fully. Grab this guy and take him all the way up, or you'll be sitting here for a couple months. Okay. Click update preview and see what that gives you. Okay, you got a couple little squares there. Let's go up a little bit more and see if that helps. 255 is going to give us too much. Let's see. Update preview. Yep. Update preview. Okay, so let's click OK with this one and see what this does. Okay, that's going to give us everything we need there except for those little tiny pieces hmm. so we can come in so I've already sent that to the printer pretend we're gonna move that over here let's move this back up here and see if we can come in and work with this okay so let's pop out our nodes I need to delete all them. I need to make my boxes smaller. I need to delete all them. Uh, let me delete that one. So now that's a filled line. Okay. Normally, um, most designs don't have a lot of open areas in them like that. Okay, this. So if you're worried about your holes, just start deleting the nodes that make up those holes. Oop, that was too much. So let's just undo this one. Don't go getting so crazy, Jen. Okay, let me tick this one off because that one does not need to be in the inside. Make sure you don't keep hitting delete when they're all blue, because if they're all blue, they're all going away, and you're going to end up with a blank map. So let's keep surfing around here and cleaning up our image. But normally most images don't have all of that crazy coloration in them, and they'll all come in perfectly blacked out. Let's get that back there. I need to go after the one that's sitting in there. Let's try that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep cleaning this up. I'm actually going to show outlines only so I can see where that little node sits where the little antennas are because that will smooth that line out. I'm 
Okay, let's zoom around here and just make sure. Oh, here's some more. So I'm just going to start highlighting and deleting them. One. This thing and me are just having all sorts of issues today. And I'm going to go after that one. And that should be that. Okay. But now this is going to be your cut file because it is going to line up perfectly with your printed image. So what you're going to do is you're going to print it out. Then you're going to take it your printed piece of paper or whatever and take that over to your scan and cut lay it on the mat load it into the machine then put your file into the machine pull the file up Then you will background scan in that media that lays on your mat. Then you will place this file directly over the media that is sitting on your mat. Okay? So go ahead and keep going around and doing all of these. Okay? We're going to pretend that they're all done. So we'll pretend that the bottom looks like the top. All right. So let's 41. Okay. Now, well, let's bring. Why does that keep happening? Let's bring this back over. Let me untick show outlines only. Okay. So now our red should set nicely right behind our black mm -hmm. and it does so object arrange bring to front there it is so now you have your perfect cut lines send to back just like that and like I said you'll continue to remove all of those uh, errors and it'll end up looking just like this then you will have your perfect cut files. Also remember that most files don't have this plaid backing. So when you hit your uh, blackout, it will normally take care of it. However, if it does not, you now know how to go in and node edit to get rid of all of that noise that's in there and return that to a fully lined closed file. Okay guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, so, oh, sorry, but when you are done, okay, so you've already sent that out, sent that to the print, okay, you can actually, hang on, let me show you what to do here. After you have this file fully fixed, if you want to make it so that it's perfect on your scan and cut as it sets on the paper, line them up perfectly here get them set perfect and I do mean absolutely perfect okay copy because this is using shortcuts a lot five that's what this person had paste in place okay file print that is going to print it in that exact position okay this one come back here delete that print then file export and get it out to your scan and cut however you do if you use the cord uh, if you have it hooked up wirelessly like I do in my video or if you use your USB stick do it that way again make sure you clean this up don't leave it looking like that I did it just to save time um, and then you don't have to arrange these separately okay but to do that, take your stick, put it in the machine, pull this file up. Once this file is sitting on the machine, load 
this printed piece onto the mat, stick the mat in the machine, hit background scan. The background scan, uh, please see the background scan videos to see how to do it. Um, if you are unsure of how to get the background scan to come up on the uh, machine. It is not in the scan screen. It is in the first screen, the first landing screen after you hit the OK button when you pull it up out of the uh, USB stick. It's that first screen uh, that has three boxes on the left side and the two on the right. Okay, guys, if you have any further questions, you can find me at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks. And I should make mention, too, that, yes, um, you can actually blow this up. And you can use, let me see if I can get to the place here, where there's a hole you can come up here and you can grab the brush and use the brush you just need to be very careful that you do not get outside of the line okay because what will happen is that will also create an uh, extension past where your actual file lays okay so if i accidentally go out like this okay if my hand isn't too sure and i'm getting out of the line like that okay so we'll do we'll bring this down because you also have to come in here okay i can't do it edit select all edit select all then we'll do a path and a union okay that's going to actually stick out from the file okay so if i copy this come over here and do a paste in place okay you see that's going to actually stick out right there okay so <clears throat> that's why i recommend using the node editing more so or above using the um, brush tool unless you're really steady handed and can <clears throat> do it uh, without getting outside of those lines um, or if you want to or if you don't feel comfortable using the nodes um, but that is available just be aware that if you get outside the lines that will show beyond what your actual file is that you want to be cut all right guys thanks a lot